You guys love my watches. And guess what? I bought some more. I'm addicted, as you know, completely addicted to watches and I've got to stop doing this. It's, it's just crazy habit. But here I am, I've got some more, I'm gonna show you. What should we start with, Adam? I think we should start with the one on your wrist because you know that that's a watch that I wasn't fond of, but now I love it. So this is not a new watch. This is a watch that I had and it was on a leather band. And it only comes on a leather band, actually. So I went ahead and I bought the bracelet and had the bracelet fitted. So it's, it's an original bracelet, but it's not made for this particular watch. But doesn't it make it look special? Mate, it is so much nicer. So much nicer, isn't it? I thought that that was kind of, and don't take offense, a bit of like an old manny watch on that leather band. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna cry into my million dollar watch collection. But it's spectacular, isn't it? It's gorgeous. I, I, I'm nearly, well, I'm gonna say it's my favorite watch, but I don't know if it is my favorite watch. It's just a beautiful watch. It, honestly, that is stunning, the difference that has made. And also, has it added some weight to it? Feel it. A lot of weight. Oh, wow. Yeah. Totally different, right? I mean, totally look weight. Look at that. that. Yeah, well done. That is absolutely gorgeous now. Really like it. Okay. What's this? So this, before I show you what it is, let me tell you the story behind it. Okay. Seth came to visit me and he was wearing this watch on his wrist. And I said, what's that? I've never seen one of those before. And he told me what it was. And I said, I've never heard of that brand, but I want it. And I negotiated with him and I took it off his wrist. So I bought this from Seth. You ready? Yeah. It is a Martin Braun EOS. It's a micro brand and it's gorgeous. It has a mother of pearl dial. And those indicators there, there's something to do with the sunrise and the sunset. Don't Ooh. quite know what. They do go up and down during the day. And I guess it tells you what time the sunset's coming and what time the sunrise happened or How something like that. Isn't that cool? So they're then, not rotary. They're just like two little sticks that just move up and down. Yeah, let me open the back of it. And the back of it is it's an automatic watch. Um, a bit plain on the back, but the front is just amazing. And it has these two owl-like things in it. Yeah, it's dates. very fun. Yeah, isn't that nice? It's yeah. big, 44 millimeter. Very interesting. So yeah. Expensive? Not really. I think the retail on these is about $10,000. Okay. Um, and Seth gave it to me for a lot less than that. He did a, a fantastic deal with me and I'm very grateful. So thank you, Seth. Very nice. Shall I tell you how much I paid for it? Yeah, why not? I think like 3,500 bucks or four grand, something wow. like that. Okay. Yeah. So it's a lot of watch for that money, isn't it? That's a great, I love those mother of pearl dials as well. Yeah. And I, I want to actually start getting into micro brands and supporting micro brands because they put as much work in, if not more, than the big boys. Talking of micro brands, let me show you, I'll move that out of the way, let me show you my latest acquisitions. Let me start with this. This is the new Aventi A13. And it's magnificent and it's made of polished titanium. And it's kind of like a, a precious metal. It, it, I'm imagining it's kind of easy to scratch, but uh, I've been very careful with it, so there's no scratches. Yeah, it's a full mirror finish, isn't it? Full mirror Turn finish. Turn it sideways for me. Yeah, I mean, that is like mirror finish. You can see the reflection of my view in it. <laughs> and is that a skull? It's a sapphire skull. It's a one-piece sapphire skull, and it has that luminum, so it, it glows in the dark, the whole thing. In fact, I, I'm going to have you like charge it up with a light. So okay. you're showing light on it and then you can maybe insert that. Yeah. It's crazy, it's absolutely crazy. And uh, it's smaller than the original one. Uh, in fact, I have the original one here. Let me compare it, let me bring that over here. This is the one that I helped design. The, and that one's still available. You see the difference in the size? Oh, yeah. oh wow, yeah. So, I mean, this one isn't huge, it's a big watch, but this one is, is a little bit smaller and it has a Swiss movement, which is the big deal because oh, okay. this one I think was made in Southeast Asia, 
and they've really upped the ante and uh, now they're competing with the big boys. Interesting, because that was always people's comment was it has a Hong Kong movement. Right. But now... This is all Swiss. Ooh. And they use the same manufacturers as people, I believe, as Richard Meal and some others. But at the end of the day, I think this is a great competitor and, and it's pretty, right? Yeah, I mean, I definitely like the smaller case size. I like that strap too. Oh, a deployment. It, yeah, but, but look, it even has the markings inside the strap. And oh, it's the yeah. uh, same material as a Richard Meal. I keep bringing Richard Meal into this. I shouldn't. But isn't that lovely? Interesting, yeah. Right? And so, if I'm not mistaken, aren't these like, uh, I don't know, some create a 5,000 G forces shockproof as well? Yeah. So, if you were to yeah. drop them, then. Watch, not... you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be bad. Um, but no, and also something that's. I didn't expect to happen. I don't know if you follow trends, but they're actually selling. These are selling way over the MSRP oh, for really? some reason. Yeah. What? So how much? How much did these go for? I think this one. This one was six thousand. Okay. And I think they're selling like ten, eleven, and the blue no ones are like way. twenty or something. So I always wondered because obviously with these new brands, you're never sure what the retail price is going to do, and no. a lot of them. I mean, right here, you've got to watch that retailed at ten and is now worth three and a half. It's so, probably worth a little bit more than that, but I'd pay so, through. Yeah. So, let's say it's worth half, 50%. For sure. But but, that's but, interesting. But, see, they haven't exposed themselves to the marketplace. They've done no marketing at all. Right. I didn't even know they existed. Right. Aventi have done a great job. They've told the world who they are, and yeah. they, you know, they, they make uh, great products. So that orange one, is that a... So the orange one, I, I don't know if I should show the orange one. No, I'll, I'll show the orange one. Why? You can't buy it unless you're an existing customer. Mm -hmm. So this is also titanium. It's a different finish on it. And uh, I, I don't want to get into what the finish is because I'll, I'll get it wrong. <laughs> but um, same size as, as this one, uh, same Swiss movement. The skull really stands out, doesn't it? That's interesting. This whole skull thing with watches is so strange to me. I know. Like, so many manufacturers do it. But it's a big deal. You know, Swiss movement, Swiss turbulent. And if I'm not mistaken, this one, don't quote me on it, but I'm close again. I think this one's $12,000. And this one's thirteen thousand five hundred dollars. Wow! And, and that's if, more expensive because of that coating. Yeah. Well, I think they make a lot less of them okay. because it's only available to previous customers, and and maybe it is more expensive. I, I'm not sure. But uh, Swiss Tourbillon movement for twelve grand. For twelve and thirteen thousand dollars with a sapphire skull. I don't know how they do it. They're they're definitely going to upset the marketplace because the thing is everyone could always comment on the fact that this wasn't a Swiss movement and that was like everybody's like fail safe right oh yeah right. Ventis aren't worth a lot of money because they don't have a Swiss movement so now they're like but even okay. at five grand that was or six grand I think this one was that's cheap for a right. turbion regardless of where it's made right don't forget a sapphire crystal sapphire turbine. crystal turbion. This is da -da 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 -da, the new, very hard to get Rolex Sky Dweller with the blue dial. Oh yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? That is gorgeous. And this is the most complicated watch that Rolex make. Is it really? So yeah, so let me show you something. The bezel actually turns and I don't know what it does, <laughs> but you see that little red dot uh, yes, I do. Okay, so that moves. I think that's something to do with the month, and I don't know how you do it. Maybe, let me try, let me try. This is the first time out of the box. It's never been worn. Okay, so once you do a month, it shows the month. Oh, okay, so now it's so the Jan 11th month. Now it's going to be the 12th month. So January would be when it's on a one. Right. February. Okay, that makes sense. Isn't that cool? And then this, never. Oh, look at that. I didn't know it did that either. So what's that? So is I that pulled the it again. I, I, no, this is the hand. So you don't have to do the hours. Oh, that's oh, very that's clever. Fun. Oh, there we go. And that's the time in general. And, and that thing in the middle is turning. What is that thing? That's the date. Yeah, the date. No, the no, no, no. That's the date, guys. Another another zone. professional <laughs> review of. I've got no idea what that does. Yeah, that's probably a twenty-four hour time zone. That's what it looks like to me. I'm going to start wearing this watch. Are you? Yes. Wow. I am. I bought it and you know, they're so sought after. And again, another watch that's just gone crazy in value. So hold on, what'd you pay for it? 16? 16. And what are they worth? 
Um, they are worth now about 35, 36,000. That's crazy. Isn't that nuts? Crazy. So, you want to see things that are really worth a lot of money? Yeah. Da -da -da -da. Bam. This is the Panda Daytona with the ceramic bezel. And this watch retails for $15,500 thereabouts. They are selling for nearly $50,000 today. Mental. Can you believe that? $50,000. The, the demand is just extraordinary. Probably my favorite watch right now. Well, wait till you see this one. Okay. Well, I know you have seen it, but let's compare them next okay. to each other. I'll pretend like I haven't. Pretend Ooh, what, that you haven't. You have never in, seen this what's watch. What's in there, Michael? So this is my, I guess, latest acquisition as far as Rolex goes. And this is the same watch with the black dial. Right. Now, I would have thought you preferred this. I know. There's something about the contrast of the white one, though. I just, I love it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like this one, too. But. So this one, um, this one was 16000 and change because there was a price increase. I bought uh -huh. this watch in January of 2022. There was a price increase, uh, and this watch is now selling for about forty-two, forty-three thousand $43,000. And then this one you've also seen before, but it's cool to line them up next to each other. This is a much heavier version of these with a chocolatey colored bezel, the blue dial, and the baguette hour markers. And Adam, this one's heavy. Feel the weight of this. Very heavy. That is heavy, isn't it? Very heavy. God, look yeah. at that. Isn't that pretty? So I would love to see this dial in one of these cases rather than with the chocolate. They don't make it. I know they don't. You went that dial with the black bezel? Do you really think that I shy away from custom Rolexes? No, you have a black <laughs> one, right? But aren't these nice? Yeah, I mean, mate, what a beautiful little collection. And I mean, just, here's the funny thing. This is just like the stuff that you've acquired most recently. I know, it, it's, I, it, you it's have gotta stop, it's gotta stop. It will Guys, stop. I promise you, I'm going to stop buying watches eventually. We do a tally of price. Should we do that? We can do that. Okay, so let's start with this. Uh, this one, current value or yeah, retail? Current value. About 180,000. Okay, 180. Let's add this up. So, right here on the screen, we're going to add up these prices. Okay, so 180,000. 180,000, 43, 50, 34, 13,5, 12. These are now selling for about 10, but I think the retail is six. I think you can still buy them if you're prepared to wait for them. It's a, it takes a, a long time to get it, but it's worth it. You save a lot of money. Uh, did I do that one? I did do that yeah. one. Uh, 10. Oh no, current value. We said current value. Yeah. Five. Five, okay. Five. Who knows? 350. 350,000. I'm going to put it back in my wrist. <laughs> right. Right. Wow. Yeah. So the total is bing, 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 bing. It'll just be on the screen. I don't have a calculator. <laughs> right. Exactly. Wow. Well, congratulations. These are beautiful. I'm very jealous. Well, yeah. look at those. Uh, I, I, I'm very fortunate to be able to get them. And uh, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Um, you'll be seeing them in videos because I'm going to be wearing them. I have to go put them back in the, in the old bank vault. But uh, until we see them on my wrist next time, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. We're in it to win it. And what time is it? Uh, I'll just look on this $20 watch. Bye.